I'm back again for a part three. Oh man, the past one was really long, so I had to split it into a part three. Otherwise, it would be 20 minutes, like 25 minutes. So, in part three, you will see me finish this chimney and me finish or make the backyard. So, I'm not going to stall any longer, so I'll just let you get straight into the good stuff. So, now when your chimney is done, <coughs> it should look something like this. Yeah. Oh, wait, never mind. Um, it, looks, it should look something like this going up. And then, if you want it to look really fancy, you can go and do the cobweb thing. That a lot of people do. Place it in the chimney just around. And then it looks like the smoke is pouring out. Just like this. You can separate bits and get it like the last three floating. And then you have this nice chimney look. And then, like I said in part one, uh, uh, you could add a fence if you wanted to, like for a backyard. So I'm gonna build a fence. So I'll see ya in a bit. Oh yeah, and I just wanted to say something really cool about fences. You can actually do that. It's like a glitch where you can't do it like this. But if you're falling and you go just right in between the uh the half block and and uh, where the texture of the fence is, you'll actually like go inside the fence like this. And you're stuck inside the fence. I just wanted to show you that that was really cool, so I'll continue. You may need to cut out a space uh from the inside of the house. Make sure that you have room for a door, a back door to the backyard. Then you just place the door like that. Steps right there. So that you can go back into the backyard and play. Whatever you want in your backyard. And if you want, uh, some plants in your backyard, you can go into materials, grab them, and just stop it coming in the ground. And then you have a really nice backyard garden. Some plants will get outside the fence, and if you don't like that, you can just, uh, destroy those plants. And then your house will be fine and free from weird outside plants. So now you have a nice garden with a nice house up, up front and might as well give you a tour. So, wow, what a nice house. I'm going to go inside. Oh yeah, and I didn't mention this in the beginning, but you can actually get a button and place it so that you can open the door. So it's really cool. So you can open the doors from the other side. And if you don't want, like, if you build your house next to a village, like, you know, some villagers might come. And try to get inside those doors. 
So if you don't want any villager intruders, you can get iron doors in your place. And then you'll need the buttons. <clears throat> so now you can go into the living room, watch the karate kung fu movie. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. And then you can walk into your office, do some work. But, uh, look at the time. I better get out. And then you can go into your room, relax, read a book, maybe craft some stuff. And then there's another room for that. And then you can go outside and check out the garden, run around. And then you can go upstairs. Sorry if there's a lot of blood. I don't know why there's so much blood. So when you come up the stairs, you can go play King Kong. Oh yeah, King Kong. It's such a great thing. Oh yeah. Wait, that's not King Kong. That's Donkey Kong. Sorry, it's Donkey Kong. Where's Mario? I don't see Mario. Is that Mario? Maybe I don't know. So, you can look outside. Put your hands by the fire. Ooh, yeah, it's warm. Go in here, record some videos. Oh my god, did you have And then, you can go into the attic. Look around. I didn't put anything in there, but maybe you can keep some Halloween decorations or something, because Halloween's coming up. And then, you can use your magnificent, ma magnificent flying powers, and go outside, and fly up, and look at your awesome house. On the outside.